Hello, welcome back. Today I'm at the Melvin Lewis Cemetery in Aurora, Colorado. It is an abandoned ghost town cemetery in the middle of a shopping center parking lot. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it and we'll try to see what remains. As you can see, it's a different kind of walk today. The Melvin Lewis Cemetery comes from two pioneer families who were instrumental to early settlers. Arriving in 1859, John and Jane Melvin built what became known as a 12 mile house that served as a way station along Cherry Creek for westward travelers. Mile houses were spaced every two to three miles along the Cherokee and Smoky Hill wagon trails from Kansas and were named according to their distance from the intersection of Colfax Avenue and North Broadway in Denver. Travelers could get a meal, spend the night, rest their animals, or have minor repairs made to coaches or wagons while staying at a mile house. In 1883, John and Emma Lewis purchased the land, which included the cemetery. It is thought that it began as a burial place for the Melvin and Lewis families and later for settlers heading west. In addition to pioneers, the cemetery also contains the cremated remains of over 1,600 people who had donated their bodies to medical research. In 1957, the property that included the cemetery was acquired by the University of Colorado and was used for research until 1986. It is believed that the land reverted to the ownership of the city of Aurora until it was purchased by Collette, a real estate firm. The preservation of the cemetery was part of the land use protections that accompanied the shopping center acquisition. In the 1990s, the cemetery contained more than 15 pioneer head or footstones. However, as of 2002, no stones remained and only a few bases had survived years of neglect. As the cemetery fell into disuse, it was abandoned and some remains were moved to other cemeteries. Well, currently, the site is preserved as part of the Pioneer Hills Shopping Center. So you can see right here, it is next to a Chick-fil-A over there and just lots of different stores and there's actually a very busy street behind it as well so we're coming up to the gates here now they have them locked so no one can get in anymore. But they do have this sign. It says this property has been designated as a historic landmark. Number 31. They know they also put up this monument over here. It says site of the John R. Lewis burial ground. Used from about 1880 to 1910. I notice there's like another fenced off area within here, so I don't know if those if that's where maybe the cremated remains are of the donated bodies for medical research. So I think most of the pioneer graves were moved to other cemeteries and then um, I think it just has the bodies for the medical research. So I'm going to get their drone out and see if I can see what it looks like in there. Yeah, unfortunately I couldn't find much on the ghost town of Melvin. Um, there's not a lot out there. There's also not a lot of pictures at all of maybe what this cemetery used to look like back in the day. So 
it is kind of sad you know this history was lost and uh, a lot of the graves just got pushed out for development Hope you enjoyed that video and getting to see the Melvin Lewis Cemetery. Please like and subscribe for some more videos and I'll see you at the next grave. Thanks.